Real toasty one out there again, and it sounds like if we get these pop-up systems, mm -hmm. it's not really going to bring any relief on the other side of them. No, it, it's yeah. not like a front that breaks right. the air mass until Monday. Okay. So eventually so, it will. <laughs> so we got that going for us, which is great. Okay. Yeah, today was today hit me a weird way. Like, it was really hot today. Yes. Um, and we got to the low 90s in quite a few spots, 89 in Bangor, but the dew points were extremely soupy. Popped up a couple showers and storms. They've been fairly inconsistent, just kind of s scattered about, but we've seen fewer of them over southern Maine over the last couple of hours. A little hot spot has developed into the Wiscasset area uh, to the north of Booth Bay, too. So these are just kind of drifting in that direction off 95, but otherwise it's just pop up showers and storms. There are fewer of them across central and northern Maine as well. So these have come through at times raining, but the sun is still out. So they're really kind of quick moving downpours. Those will fizzle as the sun sets, which is about eight this time of the year. It's starting to wind back a little bit there, right? You probably noticed that. After that, temperatures are warm tonight in the 70s all night. Dew points stay up in the 70s as well. That sets us up for a hot day tomorrow. I think it'll be similarly hot. Upper 80s to low 90s, a lower chance of a shower or thunderstorm tomorrow, though, the exception being north of Bangor, where they could pick up an isolated shower or storm. The rest of us should be able to stay dry with some increasing clouds in the afternoon, especially about 5, 6 o'clock. Clouds stay thick overnight tomorrow night. We're in the 70s again during the overnight hours. And then Saturday, we've got more clouds around and some showers that are popping up in the morning likely a break through the middle of the day with some sun and then some thunderstorms in the afternoon. So I think Saturday actually is kind of similar to today. There'll just be a little bit less consistent sunshine. And then Sunday we start with a mixture of sun and clouds stay dry through the first half of the day with some thunderstorms coming through on Sunday afternoon. So there are shower chances in the weekend. I don't think it is a bad weekend, but dew points stay pushed up all the way through to around 70 until we get that front through Monday afternoon and then they're back down for Tuesday and Wednesday. So we close the books on uh, July. Obviously, it is the second warmest month on record in Portland uh, any month tied with 2019. So uh, your buddy did not deceive you here. It was historically hot this July. And keep in mind, we ended up second after having a couple of days in the 70s there last week. Otherwise, we were cruising to be in number one spot, which is 2020. So it stays humid all the way through Sunday again. On Monday, things start to settle down in the afternoon. We might get a really nice stretch mid next week, guys. I'm watching a front that I hope sags far enough south down into southern New England. If it does, we're going to have three days probably pinned around 75 with sun, which is Nice. Yeah. It's nice. That's you, the perfect zone. You can kind of do anything. <laughs> yeah, Amanda can build her shed. Right. We can do whatever. Yeah. And, yep. and that kind of, um, as opposed to a day like today, which is maybe on the higher end. To your credit, sure. you have not complained once about this project. I it's looking great. I refuse yeah, to great. complain about summer weather, yeah. frankly, but it That's will be nice awesome. doing outside work in <laughs> a little bit <laughs> cooler <Temporary> weather. <laughs> yeah. Good plan. All right, Keith, thanks so much.